Mm. Tastes like egg now. Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're going to be doing some nature inspired crafting. I have a goose up in the barn and she just started laying her first egg. Come here, Mumbles. That's a good Mumbles. Good job, Mumbles. Easy, pale beak. There you go, Mumbles. She is a white Emden goose and she lays some pretty big eggs. I've heard of a way to preserve the shell and get the yolk out so you'd be able to use it for decorations and crafting. So today we're going to be blowing some goose eggs. So we're going to be here on the patio today because it is loud outside. Everybody on my street has generators blaring because we still don't have power from the windstorm that we had. 36 hours ago. So even though it's a beautiful day outside, we're gonna be working inside here to get breakfast ready. I got Echo Pup out here with me and he's gonna be helping on this process. All right, I looked up some things on different videos on how to do this, so I think I have everything I need. I have my delicately preserved goose eggs right here. I have a little hammer and a finish nail to poke holes through the goose egg. And I have some tape to help hold the shell together as well as a vessel to hold the egg securely and to let the egg yolk go down below. I save a lot of things and my grandma had a bunch of different glassware and stuff so saving this is actually going to turn out to help me here because it has a perfect sized neck to hold a goose egg. We're going to start with the smallest one which was her third egg but uh, we're going to start with this one. So a goose egg is bigger than a duck egg so it's probably harder too and uh, way bigger than a chicken egg. I'm going to be able to set this in here and I'll be able to blow through the top hole and yolk will come out the bottom hole and I won't have any chance of dropping and breaking my egg. The first thing you want to do is, I don't, I don't know if it's really necessary, but I brought them almost to room temperature. I figured if it was really cold straight out of the fridge it might have a better chance of fracturing. But what we're going to do is take a piece of scotch tape and put it on the very tip of the egg where you're going to poke the hole put it on there nice and tight now we're going to put another piece on the bottom of the egg where the hole is going to get poked this should help keep the egg from fracturing so i'm going to take some paper towels here and roll them up so i have a nice soft area here and i don't break the glass or the eggshell I'm going to use this foam dog frisbee as a buffer so I don't pound the glass into the stone fireplace here. Hopefully this finish nail is not too big or anything, but we're going to find out. Nice. Alright, it's in there. This is the bottom of the shell, so you're going to want to work that around a little bit to try and open this hole up because you're going to be blowing from the top and getting it to come out the bottom. So just go ahead and work that around a little bit and break open that hole a little bit more than the finish nail made it. Flip it over and get a hole through the top pointy side now. in there the top hole shouldn't need to be as big as the bottom hole but go ahead and make sure it's open then you're going to want to take that cover both holes and shake it up really good try and break open that yolk from the membrane so it'll be able to come out even stick your nail down in there and try and bust it open a little bit make it easier to blow out Open up the bottom of this paper towel so it can come out of the bottom. It's really difficult. That is really difficult. I'm trying to make a bigger hole here. Definitely need a bigger hole. Goose egg struggling. Ugh. Get an egg coming out of the top. Ugh. 
I think that's about all of it. Okay, that's air coming through now. Oh yeah, the egg is really light, completely empty. You can now remove the tape. A little bit of cracking around the hole. I don't know, while you see it, let me show you. So we have a little hole right there and small amounts of cracking around it. And a little bit bigger hole, but we have an empty shell now. I'm gonna try and get the other two done here. I really enjoy crafting with especially nature crafts. Like look how much bigger this egg is. That is awesome. Look how big. Almost twice the size and it came from the same goose just a couple days later. Ooh, don't want to break my shells. So this one's definitely going to have more yolk in it. And uh, if, you, if I didn't mention it, you do want to clean your eggs if you're going to be putting your lips on it. It did come out of a butt. Same process here. Now once I get these three blown out, I'll show you how I clean them up and make them last for years. Now I have seen another person use a turkey baster squeezer thing, pull off the probe and then you can just put that right over the egg like your mouth and blow through it if you don't have the lung capacity to blow an egg. But we'll just try it the old fashioned way today. Definitely the bigger hole the better. Or the easier. Mm. Whoo, it's hard. Papa, you want to give it a go? You good? Okay. Jeez, oh, puppy, this is hard. <sighs> Got some of it out. Now shaking it gets a little bit more broken up. Hopefully it'll be easier to get the rest of it out. This is a big egg. Beautiful day outside, too. big one is so much more difficult. Might need the baster for the third one. I think it's just about empty. It's just stuck. If you're making these eggs afterwards for anybody but yourself or your family, you might want to use the turkey baster. Jeez. Oh, I think I got it. I think there can't be much more in there. Can't be. Oh, there's still a good bit in there. Oh my god. There is some in there, puppy. Is anything coming out? Mm. Tastes like egg now. I don't know what the problem is here. This big egg is giving me some trouble. I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I don't have a gander, so these eggs are not fertilized.
four. I did it. I did it. We got it. We got that one empty. Pull the tape off. Nice. Just a small hole, small hole. Decorative bag. I don't want to crack these. Real nervous about doing this and not breaking one here. It's getting a lot of egg there though. We're gonna have a big old breakfast. And for the last one, which is either the biggest or the same size. Very similar. These are just huge. I might get the baster for this one. We'll see if we'll see how it starts out. Let's get her taped off. big enough to use this I'm going to take the tape off to try and get a nice seal around the eggshell might even help to wet it but let's see oh yeah that's easier that's easier than blowing it just Put it on, squeeze it, and then before you release, make sure you pull it off because you don't want to suck it back up the egg. You only want to blow it down. See, it's starting to pull up if it gets some suction. Putting the pressure down, but it has nowhere to go because the bottom's clogged up, so it's all coming back up the top. So, not sure why. This is a lot of egg. The viscosity of the eggs making it a little difficult to come out of a hole. We are all full here. I don't have any room left in my jar. I can taste the egg. I can taste it. That's how you do it. Now we got our three goose eggs all hollowed out with the holes on both ends. Now what you want to do is rinse this out with warm soapy water the best you can. Really get it in there, shake them up multiple times, blow all the water out again. You really want to get these nice and clean. You don't want that egg yolk in there composting and then smelling bad later. Once you get them cleaned up, you can dye them with some Easter egg dye and that'll last for a long time. But if you want to make them even harder to last longer, you can cover them with a layer of Mod Podge. I've never actually used that stuff before, but I've heard you can cover it with multiple layers of Mod Podge. You won't be able to dye it as well with Easter egg dye at that point, but you still can paint it, carve it, put stickers or something on it. I'm not sure yet what I'll do with all of mine, but I do know I'm going to be making a nice big breakfast with these scrambled eggs. I might try and carve one. I thought that would be cool to use a Dremel and really get in there and make a nice design on it, carve it through so it's actual hollow shell, and then maybe dye or paint the other ones and leave one just kind of natural. I like to see what it always was, so these are my first three goose eggs ever from Mumbles the Goose and uh, I'm really happy to preserve these. 
that's all for this one if you enjoy nature nature crafts or anything with gardening go ahead and subscribe down below check out my other channels in the description as well and you can see me and echo on the next one thanks for watching